Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and today I want to toss together some place for us to set sail from. We really, uh, we're getting pretty close to leaving the Black Forest behind, and at this point you would really, I would want a base on the shoreline. Uh, some place to, to park our boats, somewhere to bring all our resources back to, because you probably don't want to live in the swamps the first time you wander out there, or maybe you do. That could be a fun challenge. But anyway, I'm rambling too much. I've got the spot picked out. Uh, today's main focus of the base is actually going to be the Schmelter and Kiln area. Um, we're going to toss a little sleeper cabin onto the end of this pier, dock, whatever you want to call it. I'm really not sure what it's going to be named yet. We'll, we'll see what it becomes, and then maybe I'll think of a better name, or, or you guys can give me more name suggestions, which is awesome. I love getting them. We need some more likes and stuff. Everybody go and check out the comments in the fill through. And, Give me some likes. Give me some. Give me some opinions. Tell me what you think the name should be changed to. Anyway, here we are. Look at this beautiful spot. So just so you see what I'm trying to go for, and I have cleared this out, guys. There were a lot of trees here. Um, I cleaned this place out pretty good. So what I've got in mind is a nice straight pier. Um, kind of. I want. As part of me wanted to go a little rounded with it, but that that seems extremely elaborate, and it's totally possible. Maybe we'll do it later for, for one of the bigger builds. Still trying to keep things pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to go for a straight, completely roof. That's the main thing. I really want it to be completely roof. And then on this hill right here, we're going to make kind of like a crescent uh, smelting area with everything that we need to smell and a cool little forge house. And then on this rock I'm standing on, I want to build just a little sleeper cabin. Uh, just not really, not really a full base. This is really just some place to bring all of this iron back that we're potentially going to find when we set sail or, you know, the swaps. Anyway, rambling too much. Let's go ahead and do a little shaping of the ground first. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's not do that. First, I think let's start with, um, first I think we're gonna start with the actual pier. Yeah, let's go ahead, pier, dock. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> you guys tell me. Um, let's see here. I wanna line it up as best we can with the shoreline. Okay, no, I like this better. This looks good. Let's do this. This height, right here. Somewhere like that. Yeah. Yeah, I may want to dig some of this out. Now now we'll do some ground shaping. I want to get this, I want to get a lot of this really low. I really like this, like, little inlet here. Uh, and I really wanted to extend the pier over it, because I thought that would just look awesome. So let's go ahead and lower this all down, bring the water in a little more, make sure our pier is over the water. Awesome. Let's go ahead and color the ground back in. This was one of the coolest parts of the game for me when I found out about it, like in-game, you know, like naturally with one of my survival playthroughs, you get to plopping down, re like redecorating the grass, like just like, oh, like, oh, I don't want this here, you know, like, or this is where my old house was or something like, yeah, just, ah, just color it back in. I love that because it lets you get all this natural stuff back. It feels so good. All right, anyway, anyway. All right, let's get a pattern going for the pier. Maybe three is too, maybe three is too much. Let's, let's try, let's try every two. Is that gonna feel better? One, two, one, two. Let's go one more. Uh, if, I'm not sure if it's going to be this long or not. I'm just gonna try and overbuild right now and then we'll see. I'm looking to make three, uh, yeah, that looks like plenty. I'm, I think I'm looking to make three little docking areas for three carves. Um, because <laughs> to me that just seems like a little bit of overkill. If you're playing solo or even with just a few friends, like three carves, it, that that's pretty awesome. Like you you've got some you've got some mobility. You've got some vehicles with that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, especially if you're playing single player, I just feel like three three is a good number. Uh, you know, I would I I know I like to always have at least enough material to make another carve. Uh, is when I get my first one, it's always good to have a replacement, especially you know if you get where you're going and. Yeah, you know, whether it be through just an accident or or an event or something, but like, man, if you die out there and you don't have another boat, <laughs> that can always be a super problem. So it's always good to have extra boats, that's all I'm saying. We're just, yeah, so we're gonna go and we're gonna try and make three, ooh, there we go. We're gonna make three little docks here for three little carves. Let's do it. Gotta go out one more. Yeah, this might be too much. Probably don't need it to be this big may end up taking this last section off. I don't know. Let's go ahead and toss the floor on. 
Not gonna lie, this is another floor pattern I saw Timely doing. I think I've done this in an earlier video too, just messing around, but I saw Timely do this again just recently, and man, like it's it's just a good look. So we're gonna do something a little fun. I'm gonna go ahead and just outline the entire outside with the one by one, and then we're gonna toss a two by two in the middle, and it, it, it'll, it'll just make a nice little pattern. Oh yeah, just that little outline to it makes it look so cool. I really enjoy it. Why is there a gap right there all the way down? That seems odd. Interesting, there is, there's a little gap all the way down. I think we're gonna go and reset all of these one by ones and just make sure that they, they sit flush with the, uh, actually sit flush with the inside floor pieces. Yeah, just like that, that looks better. There we go, that feels much better. Awesome. Okay, okay, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and start with, I'm gonna need this to come up, actually. Yeah, this is gonna have to come up to about, probably this height at least. Yeah, then we'll be able to build a pretty good foundation for a little sleeper cabin up here, a little, oh, maybe we'll even make it a little taller. Not not quite a lighthouse, but you know, something like a little lookout area with some sleeper, anyway. Get off my pier, you silly bird. Anyway, um, let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and toss a car in the water. How deep should we? I mean, this is walkable, so that's definitely not okay. I think it's gonna have to be out here somewhere. Let me go ahead and remove these two rocks if I can. I don't want the boat hitting these, that would stink. And I think we'll call that the first dock. We don't want to get it too close to the rock, so let's, let's go ahead and start maybe right here, possibly. Yeah, let's do something like that. All right, I'm gonna get a little walk, little walkable platform out here for me. Okay, there we go, right in between. I like that, that actually looks pretty cool. All right, we're gonna have to get underneath, it looks like, to provide support. Now! Uh, the water is raising and lowering my camera. Silly, stop it. There we go, and there we go. All right, let's get back up there. Whoops, I put that one in the wrong direction. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to be. There we go. There we go. And if you didn't see that, I'll do that again really slow here over here on this one. Uh, so my little trick for working in the water here in like vanilla and stuff is just to place a beam you know go ahead and place it where it's too tall that's fine but then you can kind of use that beam to I'm not even free placing I'm not holding shift or anything you can just kind of lean it up against that one and then it'll snap underneath like that works out super handy dandy all right we're gonna extend this one more little yeah one more little piece and then we're gonna angle it ah Oh no, I gotta fix my hammer. Okay, good to keep working. I also made myself some snazzy new pants while I was back at the uh, split tusk in right there. Yeah, look at them boots. Now that is a good look. Nice blue t-shirt with some nice heavy duty boots. I like that, it's good look. <laughs> we'll rock that for a little while. All right, let's finish this up. That is not where it should be. She's wheeze. Water. Ha, there we go. They are gonna leave a little bit of a gap there, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna leave the gap, and I'm actually gonna try and put some supports out there. We're gonna do the same thing. Place that there, kinda slide that up. Yeah, there we go. So just, I want it underneath. I don't want it to, I don't want it coming up through the beams. We wanna keep the pattern that we've got everywhere else. Awesome, let's go ahead and finish up the floor. It's really hard to build all the way out to that point and not get, you know, uh, not get 
the little overlapping twitchiness, and you could probably bring it to a really hard angular point, but I really don't mind this look, and I'm gonna run with I'm gonna run with it, because uh I actually kinda like it. It's a little different. Nice. There we go. No problems here. I really like that. That's a good look. That looks great. Nice little area to hop off right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy another two of these uh, out here. So, yeah, we may have to extend this a little more. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and try and get at least two more of these little extended piers and make nice little docking areas. Let's get to it. Oh, my gosh. I got to stop falling in every two seconds. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and toss these other boats in. Nice. Nice. There we go. Three carves ready to set sail. Absolutely loving the dock area. All right, let's put a roof on this thing because I, I, that's the other thing. I really wanted all of this to be to be pretty well roofed. Eye corners really bring this all together where everything meets. Let's go ahead and just finish the roof everywhere just like this. Uh, and where these staircases come up, we will uh, seal these up pretty hard with just a couple little triangle pieces. Bam! No problem. Looks good. Done deal. Let's go ahead and do this everywhere. Just uh, as an example, this is the uh, this is the railing that I was going to use for the entire decking. Um, we're not going to do this right now. Uh, it's time to move on and, and start. I've got two more other build pieces I want to add on to this, so I'm just going to do this in the decoration phase. But that's all I was going to do for the uh, for the fence railing around here. Just another, you know, a little half wall and then a little beam on top of it. it gives us plenty of room to look over. Yeah, that looks great. All right. Next, let's get started on this tiny little sleeper cabin because it's not the main focus. It's really just going to be a little lookout, a uh, little lookout tower, a little sleeper cabin, and probably a tiny little kitchen. So let's toss this together really quick. I won't get too crazy or fancy with it.
cool. All right, yeah, I may come back and try to swap out this uh, this railing for the same railing that we're gonna do on the rest of the house and everything. Um, I've been just kind of speed building at this point, but I do want to go back and make all the railings the same everywhere, so we'll probably come and add that there. This is going to be a really nice little sleeper cabin. We're going to put some beds up over there, a little cookery right here. So we're probably going to need a chimney right here, I do believe. Let's go ahead and slap that on real quick. Let's give this some more support on the bottom because it looks better that way. All right, we don't want this to stand up too tall. So let's just do the little two meter poles. 45 degrees slope. I'm going to leave the top of this open, but we'll put a beam across the bottom. And then the 45 degree slope right there. Boom. There we go. Not a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and just because I'm going to toss this out there on the outside. Yeah, just as like a smoke stop or something. I don't know. It just feels right. I may go and add some beams across the top of all of this. I'm not sure yet. Pa, well, maybe not here. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. That'll all be decoration phase. We'll see how it looks. I'll play with it. But I think this house is pretty much done for now. Uh, like I said, decorations will be simple. We're just going to have a couple of bunk beds. Uh, <laughs> have a cool kitchen. Cool deck. This is awesome. Look at the views out here. And you can. You can come here and spy for your teammates coming back. Like, hey, guys. What's going on? Get back right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right. So the main focus of this, though. So we've got our sleeper cabin. We've got all of the little docking areas with all the boats. Now I really want to turn this little area into a cool crescent uh, processing area. Let's get to that because that's going to be the final part of this little build and it's going to be awesome, I think. Awesome is that? I really like that. That's, that's fantastic. We'll extend the roof over later with the decoration phase, and we'll keep the same pattern. We'll just eye, eye, you know, eye corner it out. Okay, up here though. Oh man, are we carrying too much? All right, <laughs> let's get up here on the slope if we can. Oh no, I can't. Okay, gotta toss that up here. Let's try and put. I want two of these on the very end over here. So let's try and get this like right on the edge as far as possible. Or it almost even might look a little silly. Oh no, I shouldn't have fallen down. Ah, uh, okay, let's try something else. Hang on. Oh, so much carry weight. Okay, there we go. Let's hop up here. Let's get this right to the edge. That looks awesome. Let's leave it there. I'm gonna do another one right next to it, as close as possible. Right there, that looks pretty cool too. Bam, look at that. Oh, fantastic. Okay, and then we're also I'm gonna try and get three of these. Yes, yes, three of these lined up in a nice little semicircle right here. Cool. Okay, so they are built out a little bit. Um, I will try to raise, well, actually, no, I'm not going to try to raise the dirt up anymore. I really want them to fall or drop all of their stuff, all the all their metal and containers into a nice little pit right here. So we're actually going to leave them just set up how it is. And we'll just give them some support with a little bit of wood. Same way we're going to do with that. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Let me go fix my hammer and get a rest of bonus. Okay, instead of putting the little walls there, let's go ahead and just try to put these slopes in. I'm not even going to try and get them to all snap to... Ooh, actually. Huh, maybe I will try to get them all to snap to get those, those two snapped onto each other quite easily. Let's go ahead and see if I can do... Yeah, look at that. Something kind of similar right there. Boom, look at that, guys. That's awesome. That one sticks a little past. Let's go ahead and destroy this one, see if we can replace it so that it, it fits the pattern just a little better. Oh, gosh. I should have done this. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Let's put a floor here. There we go. Now we can mess with it. 
Oh, oh, oh. That is so close to perfect. We're gonna leave it. That looks awesome. Let's go ahead and create a little catch basin, shall we? <laughs> oh man, look at this. All right. You know, I wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out in my head, but this is actually kind of flipping awesome. Got a little bit of overlappy twitchiness right there in the uh, in the roofing, but you know, I'm not mad at it. It's not even that super noticeable. Look at that! That's an awesome little catch bait. That that is that is fun. I love that. That's so cool. Awesome. And I think uh, just just so everybody's aware. Uh, the, the decoration phase is literally just going to, I'm just going to put a wall. Well, I guess I could do it really quick. Well, I want to get it all dressed up really well, but like really, we're not going to put a roof over any of this. I'm just going to come back up here and we're putting walls up. Um, yeah, this whole area is just a processing area. It's not meant to be livable. This is just where we would bring all the, the, the iron and stuff. So we're going to make another catch basin right here real quick. Man, that is fantastic too. That is so cool. That's awesome. Just constantly spitting out coal over here and just collecting for us right here. That is so awesome. I love that. That is so fun. There we go. That's great. Guys, look at that little processing area right there. That's fantastic. And then right here, I did want to toss up a uh, just a little hut uh, for a smithing area. So let's go ahead and just try to follow round shape right here pretty good yeah just a little semicircle Let's see if we can build the dirt out over here a little bit more can we bring it up over there There we go, everything's looking like they line up a lot better now. That's looking pretty cool, actually. I'm actually really digging this. This is a pretty awesome little base we've got going. Yeah! Let's seal that up, just like that. There we go, look at that. All right, so cool, this will be our, um... Oh yeah, no, we wanna tear this down because these are actually going to be little windows too, so we can pop these in real quick. So yeah, this will be our little forge area. I'm just gonna put our, you know, our, um... Literally our, our little forge in here so we can craft and repair our our weapons and we can make any anything that we bring back from the swamps. Gotta have 
a good forage area wherever your boats are hanging out. Nice. This is great. All right, guys, that is going to do it. I think that is pretty much all of the framing and the boxing and the outlining of the, all these little... Uh, it, it, this feels like a really cluttered little little place because it, it is... It's, it's not so much just one building. It's a bunch of little buildings all put together, and I'm really enjoying it. And the only things I think we need to add are a nice little trail over here from our trail. So we'll probably end up making something come down right along here and come up to the staircase right here. But that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get to decorating because this place is pretty much all built up. So let me switch gears, get us a nice resting cabin, throw up some railings, get some more detail, finish fencing this off, and build our forge area. Oh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit. Those flybys were a lot of fun, let me tell you. This is a pretty cool, like, sprawling base, and it was kind of fun to take those flybys. I hope they weren't too crazy for any for anybody. Uh, <laughs> I was just having fun flying around. But let's go ahead and take our nighttime walkthrough. I really like this little trail leading up. It's nothing special, just a little fencing. I just really wanted to emphasize this, like, little river. You know, we built everything kind of just, like, boxing that in and just kind of claiming it as our own. Look at it just lead out to the to the ocean that's awesome nice easy exit uh over there i didn't put anything back here it's just kind of fenced in just to keep people away from the base i say people i mean gray dwarves and 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 the like uh yeah let's go ahead and check out the house first so the house is pretty cool it's nothing special it's nothing really unique it's just uh i don't know it's super cozy we got the bunk beds you know if you're playing with friends i feel like this is pretty fun you can always sleep on any of them and i did make sure that they were kind of like you can you can sleep in these I'm pretty sure I didn't have a problem standing up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I added a little too much decoration. There you go. Now you can get in and out of the beds. That's what it took. Okay. I thought so. I, I won't. But, you know, it's always... 
it's always when you actually go to show somebody something, it's like, hey, check this out. I've done this thing. It's really cool. And then you show them and it's like, hey, that that's, uh, is that supposed to work that way? It's not supposed to work that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, super cozy. This place is so good to go. Got a nicely leveled up workbench over here. All the things. What do we have? Yeah, a level four. Uh, cauldron over here. I didn't add the, uh, I guess I could throw it somewhere. Uh, the, uh, all your hanging herbs and stuff. I didn't, um, again, this place was, it's mostly meant to be some place that we just bring the boats back to, you know, I just wanted to make it really cozy, but it really is just meant to be a dock of sorts, like a, a pier. <laughs> I'm really, I'm still at a loss at what to call this place. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Then of course you can go upstairs and we've got a little lookout up here, which is really cool. I really like it up here. It's a little cramped, but it's super nice. And you can always, See your friends coming back in from the ocean. Be like, hey guys, yeah, bring the iron back. We need more iron. <laughs> All day, every day. For everything. Anyway, bunk beds were pretty cool. I really like that about this house. It's a it's a pretty compact little little house, actually. The pier is super nice. Plenty of room. It's easy to go fishing out here too. I've stood out here and, and done a little fishing and it's yeah, that's pretty nice actually. The boats fit in here pretty pretty good, and uh, I keep it pretty open in the front because, you know, it's pretty hard to uh, stop these things. You kind of have to jump off if you want to get them to stop, like, right where they are. It's kind of fun. Uh, just spread out some workbenches around here just so if we needed to fix anything, we could. The resting area, more boat space. This, though, I mean, this is fun. I really like this. Let's, let's, get, this, let's get this place, like, churning and smelting. Hang on. There we go. Nice and easy access to everything, too. This little back wall here really gives you easy access. The only thing you can't get to is this one tiny little spot up here, but it's really easy to hop up here and add some add some, uh, add some coal to it. Really easy. Look at this place. I love the little catch basins. Like, that's just so fun. Come on, spit some ore out. Let me see it. Nice. It's gonna sit right in that root, <laughs> which is fine. Look at that. That's so cool. I really like that. That's so nice. A uh, tiny little garden over here, itty bitty. Don't really need much, you know, it, it, it's it's just there for looks really. And then really fun little forge and cartography area. This place is awesome. Super storage. I don't normally like to do storage like that, but like, come on, that, that works and fits in there so nicely. And it looks like I'm missing, gosh. Okay, better, there we go. <laughs> Fix that up. Yeah, just a little, just a little showy, uh, showy forge area. Really nice, really digging it. Oh, man. Look at this place go, though. I, I love the looks of this place at night. It's so cool. Ah, oh, man, this place is awesome. But anyway, everybody, if you had fun hanging out with me today, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in the build through. We've only got a few more builds in the Black Forest, and then we'll be moving to the swamps. But uh, all of these new Black Forest spaces uh, that we're coming up with at, at right now, like this one, they're all kind of focused on the idea of going to the swamp and coming back. So we may build another one, uh, another kind of dock side. We won't make it all dock and pier oriented like this one was. This one really was for like, you know, a couple of ships. And I don't know, I really liked it. The next one will just be more of an ocean side thing. Maybe we'll even go for a lighthouse. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. I make no promises, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. I may do that, that might happen. Not that we can really do like a real lighthouse, but oh, that might happen. I have uh, that, well. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me rambling. I hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope to see everybody in the next build episode. Let's go uh, find another awesome little beach spot somewhere, shall we? <laughs> see you guys.